So the first thing what we're going to do is we will go over to the app launcher and look for data cloud app here. Okay. So the first thing is we will go over to data streams and we'll click on new here. So we're going to go ahead and click on new. So we are bringing the data from a Salesforce org and that's why I'm going to choose Salesforce CRM. Now, if you wanted to pull the data from Amazon S3 and all that, so there are some connectors available in order to connect to external systems. Since we are pulling the data from a Salesforce org, we have chosen the Salesforce CRM as the option. And and it tells you import the objects from Salesforce CRM. So we'll select that and hit next here. So here Salesforce org. So whichever orgs you have connected with, those will appear under here. Since you already have a connection with the Salesforce org, which is same as where your data cloud is set up. But if you see the instance URL is different, data cloud is, as, is a tenant on this Salesforce org. So this is the existing connection. So yours will also appear. So it created a custom bundle for us. And we are bringing those contacts that are available in the Salesforce org into the data cloud org. Right? So the only object that it will come will be the contact and that is what we are interested in. So this is the custom bundle we are going to choose hit next. So there are so many fields that are available on the contact object. If you want, you can select all the fields. Okay. So which all fields you want to bring in, we are going to select from this list here. And this is what we have selected so far from the contact object. We are going to bring in all this data. Okay. So hit next here and then Salesforce contacts data stream bundle configuration details. And remember there is data space filtering. So we can also select data spaces. I'll tell you what data spaces uh, in the upcoming tutorial. Think of it like a container. Okay. So anything outside of the container of that data space, you cannot access it. You can access to only those uh, containers that you have access through the permission set and the data spaces is like a uh, container under which you have objects. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and hit deploy. It is going to take some time. So now the data stream has been successfully created.